and welcome to CAD CAM CA Learning Solutions YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will see how to create dust cap in Katia part design. The link to download the part PDF file is given in the description. Okay, so let's start with start mechanical design, select part design. You can apply the name here dust cap. and ok alright so you can see three planes here the xy plane is top plane yz plane is front plane and zx plane is right plane ok now we will see the dimensions first of all we need to create these two circles the first one is our radius 40 and the second one is diameter 53.98 and 53.87 now you can see two values here because of the total value given all right so we can simply average it or you can simply use one one of the values to create in a circle all right now i'm selecting yz plane that is our front plane click on sketch okay now you will enter into sketch a workbench all right you can create full circles here or there is a tool circular arc all right select simple arc select center and you can create semicircular arc here now i'm creating two arcs then you need to apply dimension to it so first one is radius 40 and second one is 53 point for example i'm taking 95 so click on constraint select first one radius is 40 then select second one and its diameter is given so change it to diameter and 53.95 all right you can see the dimensions here all right now you can directly connect this via straight line so select simple line and connect the endpoints now we need to remove this extra part so select quick trim from transformation features and click on this line okay now the next part is another circle is attached to the outer curve okay the center of this circle is 36 millimeter away from vertical axis and 14 millimeter from horizontal axis so first of all we need to create a simple circle now the radius of circle is 8 millimeter so double click on constraints apply radius first that is 8 millimeters next it centers distance from vertical axis is given so 36 and the centers distance from horizontal axis is also given and which is 14 okay so you can see the circle is fully constrained here now we need to trim the extra part so again click on quick trim and just select these two arcs all right next part you can see on the right side the curve is not full okay you can see a line connecting the curve and the length of the line is given as 13 millimeter so simply create a straight line here for example select line start from horizontal axis and create a vertical line connecting to the arc all right and again click on constraint apply 13 millimeter height to it sorry select and 1 3 enter okay now again we need to trim the, this extra part so select quick trim and trim this okay so the first basic part is done okay don't draw this hole here all right we can always use hole command in the part modeling so do not draw this circle in sketcher modeling all right so select then exit workbench the sketch is already selected all right or you can select it from here and use pad command all right now the total extrude length is given 51 add 51 here and okay right if you need to edit it afterwards then you can simply double click here all right and change the length or reverse its direction next we will change the display mode to shading with edges okay now 
we will create the back part okay you can see 65 radius arc here which is connecting to this 13 line all right so select back face again click on sketch okay now you need the circle on the left side you can see here all right so you can simply just click on normal view it will rotate the view by 180 degree all right next now we need this inner edges to connect with this outer surface okay so select project 3d element and project all these edges if you want to use the tool continuously then just double click on the tool all right select and again you can simply click on escape or click on the tool again okay next the radius is given that is 65 center will be same so select circular arc or simple arc select center and just create one arc here again click on constraint apply radius at 65 millimeters okay next you can see at the end again here is a straight line of length 13 so simply create a vertical line now the line is not connected to this arc so click on endpoint click on arc and in constraint define in dialog box you can apply coincidence here okay next click on constraint select line and apply 13 millimeter as its height okay now you can trim the extra part so select quick trim and trim all right now you need this line on the other side also so again simply click on the line use mirror tool here okay so click on mirror then you need to mirror it about vertical axis so select vertical axis and the line will be mirrored here okay now again select quick trim and delete this part okay now we need to join this part so simply select line select first point and second point again here select first point and second point the sketch is closed now okay on the top you can see the top surface is also flat okay so create a line here which will be 62 millimeters from bottom surface so select line first simply create a horizontal line here and then apply dimensions to it so select constraint select bottom line select top line and apply 62 millimeters between them okay now we need to trim this extra part so select quick trim from transformation features and select the arc all right and now our sketch is complete again do not draw these circles we can directly use whole command in 3d modeling okay so select exit workbench next we need to pad it pad length is given as 9 millimeters select pad reverse direction and add 9 millimeters length and click on enter or simply click on ok next now we need to create this base part also ok so the base part we can create one base part and just simply mirror it using vertical plane so again create select bottom face sketch now you can see whenever i click on sketch the part is getting vertical ok if you need it horizontal then instead of sketch select position sketch okay so click on position sketch select face and you can swap its directions if you want to reverse the horizontal direction you can simply click reverse horizontal if you want to reverse the vertical direction you can reverse the vertical or i'm simply clicking swap which will reverse these both directions and okay and now you can see the part is horizontal okay so i'm creating a base here first we need to project these edges so select project 3d element select first line select second line and stop okay now you can see the shape here first line is connected from here to here the total length is given as 21 and you can see an arc here and the radius of the arc is 13 r13 so first select profile tool click on the endpoint next just create two simple lines here all right now i am applying fillet here 
so select fillet select two edges and give radius of 13 millimeters all right now it's not fully constrained yet because we haven't applied center's distance to it okay so you can see that the center it's same as the whole center okay and the whole center is 21 millimeters away from back surface all right so click on constraint select back edge select center and you can apply 21 millimeters okay and now the sketch is fully constrained okay so exit again select sketch select pad tool and the extrude length is 13 here so reverse direction and apply 13 millimeter as pad length all right now again we don't need to repeat the procedures here we can simply select the pad from tree all right next we can use the mirror command here so select pad click on mirror yes now select vertical plane okay so we need to mirror it about vertical plane so select zx or vertical plane you can see the projections here and click on ok all right and the part is almost complete now we need to create holes in this okay so first we will start with this now you can see the dimensions here 6 drill 13 deep means diameter is 6 and the hole depth is 13 all right so select hole command now if you want the hole at the center of this arc so first select the edge then select the face and you can see the concentricity mark here if you are not sure just click on positioning sketch and you can see the center is fully constrained okay and you can see the concentricity mark here then click on exit now you can apply the dimensions so diameter is 6 and depth is 13 millimeters all right and click on ok okay so first hole is created here next for second hole we need this hole now remaining four holes you can see the dimensions here nine drill four holes okay means diameter is nine and you can see the four holes here all right so select hole this hole is also concentric with this r13 arc right so i'm selecting first this edge then face so this hole will be in concentric with this arc all right diameter is 9 and this is a through hole all right so i'm selecting up to next option and click on ok now we need similar hole on this side also so again we will use mirror command so select hole from tree click on mirror and select vertical plane and click on ok all right in similar way we will create this hole also so first select hole click on this surface now we have to apply dimensions to its center okay so select positioning sketch now this center is at 82 millimeters apart from center axis it's 41 millimeter and from horizontal axis it's 32 millimeter okay so select constraint from vertical plane it's 40 mm 41 millimeters apart okay and from horizontal plane or horizon last edge it's 32 millimeters okay we will see the dimensions here all right next the center is fully constrained so click on exit now you can apply the dimensions which is 9 millimeter and up to next or up to last and okay again we will select this hole use mirror command select vertical plane and okay all right so you can see the sketch is almost complete now we need to apply these fillets here all right so fillets and rounds of radius 3 all the fillets are of radius 3 so select fillet tool next select these edges for example for one two three again one two three then four okay now i'm applying fillet to these edges first okay do not select all the edges at once otherwise it will show error here all right so select now next i'm selecting this edge click on ok and now the two edges are remaining so select first edge and select second edge radius is three and click on ok all right so 
the part is complete now all right if you want to apply material select material mode okay shading with material then click on apply material select any face and you can apply the material from here okay so i'm applying sunshine orange and click on apply material okay so the now part is complete hide the planes so you will get the better visibility all right so in this way you can create dust cap in katia all right i hope you like the video don't forget to share like and subscribe to the channel